I'm Shiva. I'm Sandy. And this is Our, Our Relaxing Hobby. Hello. Hi. Hi. Tonight's episode we're going to be talking about Murder fish? Murder fish. Murder fish, okay. Basically fish that kill other fish for whatever reason. And uh, we we all have stories. We all have murder stories today, so. Oh. <laughs> I'll start because I, I have the easiest one. <laughs> <laughs> I have, a, I have a, a blue lobster crayfish, whatever you want to call it. His name is Blucifer. He's um, he's a stone cold killer. He, um, he stalks my fish. He, if they're slow, too slow, he's caught a couple, he's caught two, I think one he killed one, because I saw him kill it. Um, <laughs> you were witness. And I was a witness to that one, I couldn't get to it in time, and then the other one I think was actually already dead, but he was carrying it around very proudly. Um, <laughs> but he'll stalk the fish, and it's kind of fun to watch him, uh, which is cruel, but I don't let him catch them, I always shoo them away before they get too close, but... He does stalk, so that's pretty much my murder. My well, murder fish. He is tries easy. to kill it, so that didn't he, work he out does, too he does, well. He, I have a I have a pretty big rhino pleco in my tank, and um, first day they met, they kind of had a standoff, and Lucifer lost that standoff, and he walked off, and then so now he waits till uh, my my Edsel has his back turned, <laughs> and he tries to go for his fins, which Edsel's not real happy about. So I'm waiting for Edsel Edsel to to kick, to kick his ass. So. Oh, he will. He's gonna, he, <laughs> Uh, rhino plecos, they will charge. Yes. Yeah. So I'm waiting for it to happen. It hasn't happened yet. He, he kind of gets the, the catfish, let him, the quarries, they let him get really close. They kind of tease him. They wait till he gets right there, and as he reaches out his claw, they take off, and that really pisses him off. Um, he'll stalk around. I have to get it on film. I haven't gotten it on film yet, but he stalks around for like five minutes after he loses one of the quarries. He's very intent on them. But it's, it's really kind of fun to watch. But it, you know, if you, you know, you gotta be careful. I don't want to. I don't want any of the fish to die. So if he kills one more, he gets put into the prison tank. He's, <laughs> he's going in prison. Jail. But yeah, that's my murder story. So it's not very exciting, but he's fun yeah. to watch. So, so the moral of Sandy's story is: if you get a blue lobster, be careful what kind of fish you yeah. have in there with yeah. them. Or and any luckily, kind of and actually, the guppies are usually okay with them. Um, as far as what I've, you know, from what I've read and everything, guppies are actually okay. Guppies, Daniels, they're pretty fast. Um, the quarries we were a little worried about, mm -hmm. but so far he can't catch them at all. Um, as far as the plecos, he hasn't been able to catch them. He's tried a couple of the small ones, but he can't catch them because they wait and then they just take off as soon as he gets close. Yeah. So and you just gotta kind of be careful what you put in there with them. I wouldn't recommend like um, uh, betas, betas or any slow moving finny fish. You know, or like, like you wanted that. I, I, yeah, I wanted a loach, one of the big long loach, the um, horse head loach or whatever. The horse that, yeah, but that was not, yeah, the, something like that. There was a. What, it uh, wasn't the Chloe. Yeah, I don't remember the name yeah. of the loach now, but it was a long loach, and I was afraid that he would. It was just a little bit too slow that he would get it. Yeah, that's why you don't have a baby roefish, my dear. Yes, yeah, so yeah I, can't, I wanted the baby roefish, but that's not a good idea in my tank. It's okay, it's in my tank. So. We're good. We still have the baby roefish. <laughs> <laughs> they right. haven't killed anyone yet. So whose turn is it now to talk no, about their murder be, fish? That would be now, Garrett my, talking now, about his murder fish. Now my murder fish actually managed to take out a couple quarries. Uh, about yeah. two weeks ago, I picked up a beautiful pair of uh, black rams. Uh, they are and, very pretty. They are. And um, yeah, starting off a new tank with them, I figured I'd go ahead and uh, do a, it's a, I have them in a 20, and doing a really light stocking in there with uh, some gold tetras for uh, dither fish, and, uh, all, and I figured, you know, just for help on cleanup, uh, go ahead and get a couple of uh, panda quarries. Now, um, they're really young. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Yeah, it was. <laughs> they're, they were really young panda quarries, and uh, since I was going for a really light stock on the tank, you know, to give it more time, uh, a little more time to finish cycling, um, you know, I only picked up three. Not enough to really fill out a shoal. So... Thought you were safe, didn't you? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, Normally you would be. Well, Amazingly enough, uh, this pair of uh, black rams uh, decided to yeah. <laughs> decided to drop a clutch of eggs within the first couple days after yeah. I got them, which was exciting. Yeah, well, we have so, some film on that, I think. So very, very cool. But uh, then they noticed the quarries and decided the quarries were a threat because they laid their eggs on the gravel and quarries tend to graze along the gravel. Uh, um, so they ate all their eggs and then proceeded to pick off the quarries one by one. Ooh, little psychos. Yeah, yeah. 
They literally stalked them. I actually caught them stalking the last yeah, one. Yeah, the last one. Literally, the poor thing was hiding in the in the in the in the plants, mm -hmm. and they were literally coming at it from different directions. They were gonna, they were gonna, they were yeah, trapping it. Was it was like the Velociraptors from Jurassic yeah. Park. There was one on either yeah. side getting it. And I was like, no, no, no. So I shoot him away, and I was like, you need to get him out of the tank. Yeah. All right. Mean, yeah. So I put the net in, and that little sucker ran right in. <laughs> he was like, help me. <laughs> But yeah, so he has he has he has the fun killer fish. They like literally murder yeah, murder each other quick too. Serious they, murder. They kill them quick. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, but in their defense, it was because they had eggs. Yeah. We think that was why. Pretty, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Uh, you know, they're not mean. They're just you know very territorial when. Uh, Protective when of their eggs. Yeah, they were very. So. It was really exciting though to have the eggs. So they uh, now that we have no quarries in that tank. Um, we are, uh, they have dropped a second clutch of eggs, so we're we keeping an eye out to see how that goes. Um, and we are refilling out the Panda Quarry School in one of the beta tanks <laughs> where they won't get harassed. Hopefully. Well, hi, yeah, hi, that's hard. That's hard tank, he doesn't care. Yeah, hard doesn't care. And so then uh, about a month from now, I, you know, have a have a total of seven in there, so that uh, with the, uh, so that after about a month, when they have a little more size on them, put them in there, so they're they're a little better protected with a more filled out shoal, so that the uh, so that the rams can't pick out a single fish to pick on. Hopefully, until, until the rams discover weapons. Yeah, yeah. And the rams yeah, start going it? after them with yeah. like little knives or little sharp pieces of gravel. <laughs> Your rams are pretty tough. They're in that tough. case, in that case, make sure you get footage on that. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. definitely get. I footage. wish I'd about to get footage on the killing, but I was feeling so sorry for that little tiny, uh, <laughs> little tiny core catfish. Yeah, and I was like, we had to save not, the catfish. Yeah, we're not going to film fish killing other fish. Yeah, we're gonna, you know, whatever. Save the fish. But. Gee, she's no fun. Oh come oh, on! I, you know please, I wouldn't let it. Yeah, I had to stop and save the cat, the stupid fish from Lucifer, so I can't even say nothing. <laughs> I didn't get it on camera. My camera was right there. <laughs> But, yeah, uh, but yeah. yeah, you you find tool usage in the fish, <laughs> film that shit. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. will. If the fish start. Oh using. shit! Did I just demonetize you? Yeah. We're not monetized. You're good. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, my murder fish story has to do with the comet goldfish. You know, nice oh, docile yeah. co comet goldfish. The ones that keep praising about being great pets and full of personality, <laughs> all kinds of fun. Generally, they are. They're Except very. They're very nice. I mean, I put comets in with all kinds of fish. I mean, I keep keep young ones in the rope fish tank for crying out loud. Yeah. Never had a problem with them. Until they started spawning. And if there are any Star Trek fans out there, y'all know what the Klingon mating ritual is? That's comet goldfish. Yeah, they... And the first big spawning we had in the indoor tank, uh, we had one female who got beat up so badly, we tried to save her got her into a hospital tank, but sadly she didn't make it. And I keep an eye on them ever since. Whenever I see that they're going to start spawning, I already know to start looking for anybody that's gotten beat up a little bit too badly, because a bunch of males will go right after a female. They'll chase them to the point of exhaustion. They'll bump up they against them. them. They corner them. They corner them. Hold them down. I know. It's, like, thing. it's, it's like fish rape. Yeah, it is. It's it kind really of like fish rape. Is. They're vicious with it. They're as bad as ducks. <laughs> yes, they yeah. are. I've They're never actually seen, I don't even know oh, that I want to see ducks breed. Or even otters. I mean, never seen those breed either, but, yeah, otters uh, but I've seen the goldfish breed. That's some crazy meanness. Yeah, so so my nice docile school of comics turned into So is that murder, murder or is that rape? I'm not... It's I less murder. Yeah, I don't think they meant to kill her. I'm pretty sure they didn't, but it just how how rough the, the <laughs> comic rough sex is. Goldfish you know? <laughs> sex is rough. It is. I mean, whether she wants it or not, so it is rape. <laughs> yes. She did not consent to that. No, she did. I felt so badly for her too. And, you know, she was one of our big girls too, and it was really sad. But you know, ever since then, it's like okay, when we see that the goldfish are spawning, we definitely keep an eye out for anybody that's starting to find her. Now the koi are almost as bad. Like Kieran got beat up. Yeah, the koi they are spawning, almost as bad. Yeah. But we saved Kieran, so the koi aren't murderers. The comets are, but the koi aren't. Yet. And yet. Well, we're keeping an eye on that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want They're them to anymore. We'll see. No, I don't put anything in there to entice yeah. them to breed. There's, there's no, uh, you know, very white. Yeah, it's playing. gonna be controlled breeding next time. Yes, next time's gonna be controlled breeding in a nice round pool. Under supervision. She, was a she wants to supervision. See what she's, she wants to watch them. 
I'd rather watch fish go at it than have to take care of one that's gotten beat up. I mean, I've taken care of a couple that's gotten beat up. That's what it Plus is. Plus one. Yeah. yeah, they are pretty rough though. They are. So these are our murder stories. <laughs> these are our murder fish. I, I've got a murder crayfish, kind of lobster. I guess it's, it's actually a crayfish, yeah, it's but we call it blue lobster. But uh, yeah, he's, he's pretty. He's pretty much a stone cold killer. If he could, if he could just catch them, yes, he would yeah, like to kill them. You know who the culprit is on yours? Yeah, I know, yeah, mine. I like mine. Likes to kill. Um, I'm just like I said, one more death and he gets put into the prison tank, which is he's going to be in a tank with only like Daniels or something like that by right. himself. Yeah, we'll be sitting in the um, fish and jail. We'll see how it goes with the Garrett's. Uh, uh, Garrett's rams. With your rams, if <laughs> yeah. they get to have, if they get to have any catfish in there with them, otherwise, you will see. Yeah, but they didn't, didn't they say? Didn't your mom say she was, he was going? They were going after the yeah, uh, the, the tetras or yeah, whatever but the today. Te the tetras actually schooled. Yeah, so yeah. they can't pick one out. They just. Okay, so I guess in conclusion, what we're trying to say here is that watch what kind of fish you put together, and especially right. if you've got like a breeding pair, like you know, with the killer mm -hmm. rams. Yeah, and if you have a, if you have a crayfish, you got to kind of just. Be prepared if, yeah, any type if of the fish are fish. yeah, yeah. If the fish aren't fast, I mean, you know, well, which is funny because you have carnivorous rope fish and they don't kill anybody. But anyway, well, the but he, shrimp. yeah, he he tries to actively kill. So you got to kind of watch what you put in there. Yeah, so. yeah. This uh, the crayfish is a little bit different than most carnivorous fish. Most carnivorous fish they won't go after anything that's bigger that, than their mouths. Yeah, but your yeah. crayfish can cut them up. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> chop that sucker right in half. Yeah, fast too. <laughs> But anyway, but yeah, so just kind of watch what you put in the tank, and, and, and we're still learning with the crayfish. It's, he's new. I mean, I, I did a little bit of background on him, and just not enough to realize he went after live fish. I had shrimp in there for him, and mm -hmm. we put some mealworms in there for him, thinking he'd be fine with that, and some snails are in there. Yeah, he, he still went after the fish. He, he decided he wanted a live prey. Yeah, he, he wants the fish, so I'm not buying any feeder fish for him, so that's not happening. Yeah. So like I said, one more death, and he goes into prison. <laughs> Maybe with your rams. <laughs> Yeah, breeding yeah. fish never a good idea to mix. You gotta be careful what you put in there with them. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't. And obviously, I don't think goldfish we were or any any kind of breeding fish, like the goldfish, you gotta just be careful and watch them. That you know. Yeah, every other ram I've had has been really peaceful, but yeah. that's the first time I've had a breeding pair. So which was quick right. too. So that's kind of yeah. exciting. But yeah, that's kind of, just kind of watch what you put in the tank. That's really all our. Yeah, basically, I think with the with the anything that lays eggs on the bottom and any of your bottom feeders, you're gonna be in trouble. Like with him, that you know, he had to deal with the quarry massacre, but I could see that easily happening with like young plecos too, mm -hmm. yeah, or any right, type yeah. of bottom fish yeah. feeders. Yeah. So, so I can see that. Being hopefully, it all works out, and we'll get. We'll figure it out. We're we're still learning, but if you have any comments, questions, we love them. Yeah. Um, and if you like us and want to help support us, subscribe. Yeah. And we also have a Patreon page if you really like us and want to help uh, fund our show and get us out of the house and onto adventures. Woohoo! Yeah, because yep. we do have some plan. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. And we will see you in two weeks. Yep. Bye. Bye.